हे गाइज अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई सेल्फ नेहा गुप्ता यू मेंट ऑफ अ करंट अफेयर्स सो एज ऑलवेज आई हैव ब्रॉट टू यू अ लॉट ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट कैन बी आस्क इन यूर फेज वन ऑफ आर बी एस एबी एन अबार सो लेट्स क्विकली बिगिन दिस वीडियो बट द पीपल हु आर वॉचिंग मी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम गाइज दिस PDF डी एफ इज अवेलेबल फॉर यू ऑल यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम द टेलीग्राम चैनल ऑफ आवर्स एंड द लिंक ऑफ दैट चैनल इज इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो इफ यू वॉन्ट द पी डी एफ यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम यर ओके सो बिफोर मूविंग अ हेड इन दिस वीडियो देर वॉज वन कमेंट ऑन वन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज एंड द स्टूडेंट आस्ट मी वेदर ही इज रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक नोट्स आउट ऑफ द सेशन दैट आई एम टेकिंग राइट नाउ आउट ऑफ द मॉर्निंग टेल्स सेशन दैट आई टेक सो गाइज हियर लेट मी इन्फॉर्म यू दैट यू डोंट need to make notes of your own from the sessions that i take because i provide you the pdf of each and every uh, session wherein each and every news is explained in detail so you are not required to make your own notes but yes i would advise you all to make notes of spotlight magazine and how to make notes from sorry from spotlight this is something that anut sir has already explained in one of his videos if you have seen that video which is called fact cheat sheet okay so there is a video theek hai that that is specifically talking about how can you create your own sheet of facts of numbers or the facts very quantitative facts that are very difficult to memorize and retain for a longer period of time okay so i would suggest you to prepare your own fact cheat sheet as well as you can create concise notes okay and i have already taught you how you can make notes of your own by by using the spotlight magazine so yes you can make notes from the monthly magazine but you are not required to make notes from the daily sessions because that would be a time waste for you okay so i hope that this is clear now let's move on to the first question so the first question says what is the score of india in the world press freedom index 2021 so guys here the right answer is 46.56 now the rank of india is 142 out of 180 countries okay so clearly it is not a very good rank in uh, the country that has topped this index is norway so the most free uh, press uh, is of norway then we have finland and sweden india's rank is 142 and the score is 46.56 at the bottom we have eritrea at 180th rank then we have china at 177th ranking now why did i put all the four bottom ranking countries here because of china recently one of the journalist from china has been awarded by a us us based organization okay so that journalist was imprisoned by the chinese administration particularly because of her reporting on covid 19 so we will be discussing about that awardee as well but first of all let's complete this index so the parameters on which this index assesses the countries are pluralism media independence environment and self censorship legislative framework transparency infrastructure and abuses so these are the parameters on which the countries are assessed now which organization releases this index it is clearly stated reporters without borders can you guys tell me where is this organization headquartered so this is a kind of extra curricular question that i am giving you so let's discuss about that body as well so zhang zan she uh, was jailed for her reporting and the award that she has received is lin zao freedom award this award has been given by china aid organization which is a us based organization so the facts that i have highlighted are the only important keywords from this news which you can memorize from exam point of view moving on to the next question how many rivers are connected under the sariu canal national project 5 7 6 4 so guys a total number of 5 rivers are being interconnected through this sariu canal project okay and these 5 rivers are uh, include are inclusive of sariu river as well now what is this project so first of all the very preliminary facts that you should be aware of that recently this project has been inaugurated by the uh, 
head honk of India, Prime Minister of uh, India Narendra Modi. Now, the next point is that it is claimed to be one of the largest canal projects of Uttar Pradesh. Okay. Now, let's discuss the details as well. So, clearly, any canal project is basically constructed to deviate the water to the irrigation land, to the farming land. So, same is the function of this Sarayu Canal National Project. So, in which district is this project located? So, it is Balarampur district of Uttar Pradesh. Now, it is expected to benefit 50 lakh farmers in the eastern UP area. Although it is inaugurated in this district, but it is going to provide water for irrigation to surrounding areas as well. So, in total, it is going to benefit around 50 lakh farmers. This number is not important for you to memorize. Just knowing this number is enough. Again, we have another number that 4.04 lakh hectares of land will be irrigated by the Sarayu National Project, Sarayu Canal National Project. Again, this number is also not important for you to memorize. The important point here is this. Gagra, Rapti, Banganga, Sarayu and Rohini, these are the five rivers which will be connected through this Sarayu Canal National Project, which was built at a cost of over 9,000 crore. Okay? So that is the entire news all about. Moving on to the next question, under which scheme has India received US dollar 350 million assistance from Asian Development Bank to improve its urban services? Swachh Bharat Mission, Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana and Amrut Scheme. So here the right answer is option E. Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana and Amrut Scheme, both of these uh, in order to enhance the progress, in order to uh, implement these schemes, the uh, Asian Development Bank has given loan to India and that loan is worth US dollar 350. Now guys, Asian Development Bank is one bank that gives a quantum of loans, a plethora of loans to India. So I know that this is very confusing for you all that which loan should we remember and which one can we skip. So here my advice to you all is that do remember the loans that have been given to the central government for the central scheme or for any kind of central initiative okay that is going to be launched pan india for example we have many projects uh, that adb has uh, provided loan for okay so you can memorize those projects you can memorize that those loan details that are provided in the spotlight magazine as far as the states are concerned so in connection to state you can only remember the state the purpose for which it has got the loan from adb amount is also uh, you can skip because many a times there are very huge uh, there are many news in one month's magazine only of adb okay so it's it becomes very difficult to memorize each and every news therefore i would recommend you to memorize the state to memorize the agency that is adb that is giving loan and the purpose for which the loan is being given because i don't think that direct amount would be asked from you however uh, regulators are very unreliable they are asking you amounts like i don't remember the exact question but there was a question in your nabad uh, phase one uh, on the uh, again i don't remember precisely but that was the question on the amount of ipo of a uh, company so if such a question is asked def definitely you can be asked amount of the loans from the states but again that's a very meek possibility so in order to fulfill that chance in order to achieve that mark you will uh, ruin your entire preparation if you go for memorizing the amounts okay so try to focus on the concepts on the reasons for which the states have got the loan on the uh, projects for which the states have got the loan okay and whenever it is about the central government then also remember the amount as well so this is the loan by the central for accelerating universal coverage of piped water supply and improve the sanitation so atal, Bha atal mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation amrut 2.0 and Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana. So under both of these schemes, this loan amount will be used. 
Now this point is very very important guys according to Asian Development Bank India's current estimated urban population is around 460 million that is 46 crores and this is expected to increase to 600 million 60 crores by 2030. So in order to develop sustainable cities in light of this development India has taken loan from Asian Development Bank. Moving on to the next question, which state has launched the milk price incentive scheme? So here the right answer is Uttarakhand. Now the basic purpose of this scheme is to incentivize the farmers, the dairy farmers so that they can produce more and more milk. Now you have to understand the situation of Uttarakhand because you would be thinking that India is a very huge, uh, is a very large producer of milk, then why does a state government need to give incentive to its milk farmers? So the reason here is that Uttarakhand is one state where the demand of milk product and milk is very high and the production is not up to that level. It is not matching that demand. Therefore, in order to incentivize the farmers of Uttarakhand in, to uh, produce more and more milk, this scheme has been launched. Okay. So that's the basic objective of the scheme. This is a direct benefit transfer scheme and uh, through which the amount will be directly transferred to the bank accounts of the dairy farmers. Next is this Ganga cow scheme. So this is a very old scheme of Uttarakhand and it is still operational. So under this scheme, basically rupees three, three to four per liter of milk is given to the farmers for producing each liter of milk okay so this is how uh, Uttarakhand is facing the problem of milk production or milk supply and in order to increase that supply uh, these kinds of schemes are launched by the Uttarakhand government I was reading that the supply of the milk particularly of the Dehradun district is majorly dependent on Uttar Pradesh so from Uttar if Uttar Pradesh does not supply milk to Dehradun district of Uttarakhand then this region the people re, uh, living in the, this region would be devoid of consuming milk so that is this is how the precarious situation uh, this is how the situation is precarious in Uttarakhand Next question is, which city has announced its plan to become a sponge city to adopt innovative water management strategies to curb the urban flooding? So here the right answer is Chennai. Now, what is a sponge city? So basically, Chennai would be developed in such a manner that it would absorb much more water than its capacity. Basically, the roads will be developed in such a manner that rainwater would be directly uh, saved and it would be transferred, it would be percolated to the natural aquifer. So that's the sponge city. Sponge kaise water ko absorb karta hai. So that's the uh, basic idea behind developing the sponge city. So this will help in reducing urban flooding situations. Moving on to the next question. What is the theme of 2022 G20 summit? So here the right answer is option E. Recover together, recover stronger. Now, all of these are the themes of the previous years of summit. So, G20 2021 theme is this, people, planet and prosperity, do remember. 2022, Indonesia has assumed the uh, presidency of G20 and it has held a meeting uh, regarding that only. And at that meeting, the theme of G20 for the year 2022 was announced so this is the theme do remember this thing high chances that this question can be asked from you in your exam um, so union minister of finance and corporate affairs nirmala sita raman participated in this international seminar which was hosted by bali uh, hosted in bali so it was virtually uh, that virtually held and the minister also virtually participated in this seminar Next question is, which company has launched Nivesh Bhima, a non-linked, non-participating individual saving life insurance plan? So here the right answer is option E, Aviva Life Insurance Company. Now there is nothing much that you need to remember, just remember the company and the product that has been launched. 
by that company okay and also remember that this is a life insurance plan launched by aviva so guys here this video ends i hope that you have understood the content provided by me and if you have then do not forget to subscribe the channel before leaving the video or before leaving the channel and like this video also thank you so much